If you are looking for movies featuring romance with friend's mother, in this video, we will recommend the top 10 romance with friend's mother movies. So, check it out. Number 10. Patricia, Secretos de una Pasión, 2020. Director, Axel Uriegas. Estoy haciendo mi maestría en psicología. De hecho, mi maestría es psicóloga. ¿Y tú quién eres? Soy Pablo. Patricia, a successful therapist, is married to a husband who loves her. But unfortunately, her work success is not the same as her marriage. Her husband was too monotonous and did not provide enough warmth, so the two of them were less harmonious. Patricia has tried to revive her domestic life, but her husband is too indifferent and does not respond well. So Patricia channeled her passion by taking up yoga where she met a young and athletic yoga instructor. Because her desire with her husband never came true, Patria had an affair with a yoga instructor. Since that affair, he has felt alive and passionate again. Number 9. Ambivalence, 2018. Director, Anton Bilzho. Stas and Peter, two young psychiatry students and friends, see life differently. Stas wants to act according to the rules. Peter prefers to experiment. Stas is a hard worker while Peter likes to break the silence. Stas is a diligent student. Peter is a troublemaker. It's a pity that they both have one passion. Katerina, loving stepmother, father's wife, tour guide, for Peter lover. Will their friendship stand the test of passion for the woman? This is a fascinating story about an unusual love triangle and a madness that is closer than it seems. Number 8. Bastard, 2019. Director, Matthew Mortelmans. <laughs> 17-year-old Don is not having an easy time. His older brother Robbie died two years ago in an accident, which still leaves a mark within the family. His mother Nina locks herself at home, his father Philip runs away to work. When mother and son meet homeless Raja, Nina senses an opportunity to fill the void in her life again. Without consultation, she brings Raja into her home. Soon, relationships within the family wither and romance and violence infect civil security. Number 7. No Future. 2021. Director, Mark Smoot. Exactly what he was doing. What do you think? How could I possibly know what he was thinking? Will, Charlie Heaton, doesn't know what to say. As a recovering addict trying to get his life back on track between meetings, overcome by grief, Will returns home and finds a community that still holds memories of the damage he left behind, and his friend's grieving mother, Claire, Catherine Keener, struggles to accept her son's death. Reconnecting with Claire after years of separation, the two's relationship soon turns into an affair that both entertains and transforms their complicated feelings of guilt and sadness. Number 6. Sinister Seduction, 2019. Director, Damian Rome. Pull over tonight. Of course. Mom, this is Dylan. Recently widowed Sharon, Christina Kleeb, is concerned when her son Anthony, Sebastian Cabanas, has trouble fitting in at school. However, her worries end when Dylan, Tanner Buchanan, an athlete and one of the most popular boys at school, suddenly befriends Anthony. But the more time Dylan spends at the house, the more Sharon suspects that his interests lie with her as opposed to her son. And as Dylan's obsession with her turns dangerous, she discovers that Dylan's advances have a more sinister motive than she could have ever guessed. Number 5. Nobody's Home, 2013. Director, Denise Aksai. Farida, whose world was destroyed by the sudden death of her father, has to take on the role of father in her orphaned family. The young woman now has to look after her helpless mother and two siblings. Over time, he sticks to this role and begins to act as a real head of the household. However, after a while, this situation drags each family member into an indescribable drama. Mother Nurkin desperately tries to replace her lost husband with her daughter Farida, while her brother Ilker becomes very uncomfortable with the responsibility being given to Farida and begins to move away from his family. Number 4. A Higher Law, 2021. Director, Octav Chalaru. 
Germanii. Mă rog, e de aici, dar a fost plecat. S-a întors înapoi singur pentru neadaptare socială. Tells a woman torn between freedom and faith as she strays from a suffocating marriage. In a small town in Romania, Caterina, a beautiful 38-year-old religion teacher and wife of the local priest has a new pupil in her classroom. He's 16. He's a problem child, and he looks at her in a special way. Caterina tries to keep him under control, but she loses her own control in the process. After she sleeps with her student, he starts blackmailing her by confessing to her husband, the priest. Number 3. I Am Love, 2009. Director, Luca Guadagnino. The Recchi lives surrounded by luxury. His residence is in Milan, a huge house where nothing is missing. However, the relationships between them do not correspond to those of a family that loves each other. Eduardo and Emma have three children. Elisabetta, Eduardo and Gianluca, their partners and grandparents, make up the large family circle. But Emma needs changes in her life. The family cook, Antonio, will give her everything she needs. Number 2, In the House, 2012. Director, François Ozon. Grands auteurs de la langue française, et surtout vous incitez à vous exprimer, à raconter des histoires. A 16-year-old student breaks into a classmate's house. When the school year begins, Germain, a French literature teacher, will perceive through the class essays that the boy in question has something special. He is introverted and barely has contact with other people. He just sits in a corner and observes in detail from there. For Germain, the young man's literary works have an unusual strength, which is why she will encourage him to continue writing, even if he does not know that part of what is written belongs not only to his imagination, but to the actions he undertakes. Number 1. Adore, 2013. Director, Anne Fontaine. <laughs> oh, come on, give us a break. It was a long time ago. Well, here's to our mothers. Roz and Lil has not changed. Knowing each other since childhood, destiny unites their lives again, and they realize that the trust and affection they had for each other is still there. After marriages that have failed, doubts begin to arise and they allow themselves to be enveloped by them. In their world of affection and loyalty, their relationship will be affected by the appearance of their teenage children, who will not only live with them, but will awaken the appetite of their mother's friend, facing them and reminding them what it feels like to be loved. This beautiful story will be a journey through their emotions and experiences.